somebody pulling hairs out of dogs and cats just to tease them, um, dropping stones um, at people who are trying to steal their eggs or come close to their nests, and that sort of thing. Many and Abel appear to have figured out the experiments for themselves. But in general, scientists can't be sure how pros learn to use tools. Is it trial and error? Or what is it, Benjamin? from older birds, like their parents. Both Betty and Abel were captured in the wild, making it impossible to know where many of their skills came from. Chapel and Weir also want to know if New Caledonian crows are typical of most crows, or if they really are that much smarter than Benjamin. <laughs> Where'd he go, Benjamin? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Whatever the result, this fascinating research could be just what the noisy, pesky crow needs. A little good PR. While crows may be smart, they're certainly not flashy. But when you think about it, not many of our Canadian birds are brightly colored. In this next story, birding columnist Tom Hintz explains why tropical birds are so much more colorful than the birds of the Great White North. Whether it's yellow, or green, or red, or all three combined, tropical birds seem to come in every color of the rainbow. Let's face it, they sometimes seem so colorful that our feather friends in the north seem sort of, well, dull by comparison. It's sort of cliche that all any brochure on the tropics will have a colorful bird, like a toucan, splashed front and center. The tropics are supposed to be home to many beautiful birds, but are there really more colorful birds here? And if so, why? Two studies have actually Look, Benjamin, another bird! Another bird! Birds, but each came to a different conclusion. The difference in results could be from the use of the word colorful. It's a pretty subjective word. After all, how do you decide <laughs> who is colorful and who is not? It's pretty clear that the stunning red and yellow plumage of a scarlet macaw puts it into the colorful category. Do you really want to tackle a bird that size, Benjamin? Clay-colored robin, well, don't cut the gray. But what about these birds? Uh, they're sort of smack dab in the middle. With a little bit of color, but not much to that. Are they colorful or not? The results also depend on which groups of birds you look at, too. One study that focused mostly on songbirds found that although there were more species of colorful birds in the tropics, there were also more drab species there, too but there was basically no difference between the proportion of colorful and drab birds in tropical and temperate regions. Another study showed that these results changed when you included parrots, toucans, and other rich tropical bird families in the oh, oh, three birds, Benjamin. Scientists in this study concluded that the tropics did indeed have proportionately more colorful birds. Surprisingly, one thing that both studies did agree upon is that dull is definitely the overwhelming choice in plumage. Even in the tropics, the number of dull birds like ant birds, nightingale thrushes, and wrens vastly outweighs the colorful birds. This is especially...